Hooken Hook Club, not motherfucker, <laughs> where I have uh, Nork from Berlin with me. Uh, first of all, guys, uh, can you tell me a bit about Nork? Who and what is Nork? Uh, Nork is a, a heavy metal band from Berlin um, and we make a, a mix of heavy metal and punk rock music because um, that's the way we like it. Okay, but you have described your music as a dirty bastard. A dirty of... bastard <laughs> yeah, yeah. from punk rock and heavy metal. <laughs> okay, I got the idea that it was a dirty bastard of black metal, dead doom with a touch of punk. Ah, okay, that's a very long description. <laughs> <laughs> but is it an accurate one? Um, yes, it's a, it's a longer description, but I don't even remember. In, some descriptions because it's uh, just the way we do it and um, it doesn't matter what it's called okay so how would you describe your music then other than heavy metal and rock oh, oh it's, um, yes but it's um, heavy metal and punk it's um, a mix of both uh, I think sometimes the descriptions uh, are a little bit longer than uh, what the music feels. Yes. So uh, I think we only want to describe uh, short terms. Uh, I think heavy metal and punk rock, a rough mix of it. I think it's it sounds like short and cool, and that's like later uh, songs. <laughs> okay, and where does the inspiration come from? Uh, the inspiration comes from. Um, from a lot of metal bands, uh, for example, Marky, he was listening to Creator, and uh, we came out all from the same place. Uh, so we have uh, the same influences because we grew up together. And so, uh, and there was uh, no difference between the heavy metal subcultures or the punk subcultures or something like that. We listen to all this stuff. We have never been uh, something like a pure black metal guy or pure trash metal guy or something. Yeah, and we heard a lot of sides. And um, uh, earlier, I grabbed up this man and uh, I have the tape deck and <laughs> and we heard the stuff. What's the first one with the car? Yeah. And I grabbed it up and we heard a lot of stuff and he said, hey, that's cool, that's cool. And he showed me other stuff and yeah, that's the way. That was the time where you have long hair. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> long ago. Yeah. Really long ago. I think uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, a little bit newer in, th in this band, but uh, we have uh, also a long connection between us. We make music since I'm 16 and like you are 15 and something like this. And you were, was... 35. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's the old guy in the band, uh, but uh, not really quite older than us. I think uh, our power comes uh, from yeah from our past, our present, and uh, I think we will looking in a little dark future, and so we can uh, make our songs very powerful and comes out Dark Throne. I think Dark Throne and um, uh, Frost. Venom and something yeah. like this. We want. We don't want only make a mix up, but I think we take that what we like to listen to and make our whole our own mix up. Yeah. Okay, talking about those influences, uh, how do you see bands like uh, Dark Throne and Saturicon nowadays mixing it up, mixing black metal with rock and punk and heavy metal? I guess. I love it. <laughs> I love the the new Dark Throne stuff, for example. I I more than the the, the classic ones, for example. Uh, you you like you don't like the opinion? You can't understand me, but I I more like the new new stuff. Uh, Underground Resistance is my favorite. Yes. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, Transylvania Hunger fans they would say, "What the fuck is going on with this metalhead?" <laughs> I love the Transylvanian Hunger also. Yeah. But I uh, also love um, Underground Resistance. Yeah. It's very all, good. All the Arctic Thunder. I think the Arctic Thunder is a very good album. Yeah. Fuck off and die. Also. Yeah. Okay, I feel like you uh, already touched a bit on the Berlin's metal scene when you said that it's mixture of uh, all kinds of bands, punk and different kinds of metal. Can you tell me a bit more about the scene in the city? Yeah, that's your part. Yeah, I think uh, the scene in Berlin is um, very diverse. 
because we have a lot of sludge, we have a lot of um, doom, a lot of punk, a lot of uh, death metal, a lot of, yeah, I think a lot of everything. But I think uh, we have a lot of people inside the uh, scene uh, which are mixed in the groups and uh, they also do a lot of for the scene. So they also organize um, the concerts for, for um, um, of DIY and uh, they do festivals, they do concerts, they do um, something for the arts. So it's, it's more uh, um, big family, sometimes with, uh, with uh, black sheep. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but, but I think um, after uh, I'm, I think I'm living 12 years in Berlin, I think we have growing all together and making a big shit up underground stuff uh, it's uh, really hard to, uh, to describe because it's not like i think in other cities it's uh, it's more uh, it's more uh, yeah it's to do with the people together uh, it's not only one people i think it's i think around 50 60 70 people who do things together and then also comes the bands and the band members together it's uh, yeah it's a big family Okay, and how does the future look like for the scene? Because uh, it seems that the squads are in a bit of a trouble at the moment. So how does the future look like? Do you want? No. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, the future, yeah, it's in the dark. <laughs> but uh, it's good that it's in the dark because then we can uh, work on it. Because I think uh, we have a lot of uh, sites we want to do. We have a lot of ideas. Uh, and I think uh, we are not in the end, or at the end of the scene. I think we are just on a turning point, so that we have to do more for the scene. Everyone, I think, also the hero, also the people who comes to the concerts. Everyone must recognize that uh, we do it for the scene, or all other people do it for the scene. And most of the time, we do it in, in our free time. It's not a job. It's 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 more free time. So we want to have fun. We want to drink some beers and play some guitars, bass, drums, or keyboards. Or no, 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 no. We we we, we don't play keyboards. <laughs> But uh, and I hope you know what what I mean. Maybe it's uh, important that uh, the there are more connection between the 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 different groups. They have more to work together and then it will be good. Okay, good, and uh, back to Nork. And uh, Tides of Acid, Piles of Dirt album is uh, still pretty fresh. So could you tell me something about that album and the making process? Um, we've recorded uh, the album in Potsdam in the practice room of uh, a friend of us, of Connor, uh, from the band Madstop. And... Um, <laughs> 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 and um, yes, it was a very cool process to record uh, the recall. It was hard, but what we see is uh, it's, it's very good. Uh, so we are very proud of this, of that stuff. So it's it's, it's a thing from from deep from the heart. Yeah, yeah. it was uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, s sweat sweat going on down my head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, how would you describe the music itself? Uh, the, the music, especially on this record, um, it's I easy because we we had a discussion before about uh, the music of Nork and all the music we have made is on this record. So <laughs> it's it's uh, there are some thrash metal songs or thrash. We never thought based. about it that we go in this direction. Yes. Uh, in any way, uh, but there is the song, uh, the uh, is Circle of Serpents. It's the newest one we wrote, and just uh, there, there's also a thrash metal inside. Eh? I think so. I heard it from from other guys. And the song says so it's more punk rock, yeah. and the song uh, Silicon Plastic Lace uh, sounds like maybe a little bit like uh, uh, a Dark Throne song. But I think uh, as a short up. If you don't know the band and you don't know the album, I would uh, say that we make uh, Black and Death metal. So I think it's 
with a lot of punk and crust attitude. Ja. So. And thrash. Yeah. And thrash. <laughs> slash and doom. doom. Slash doom hardcore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, since you mix uh, all kinds of uh, uh, metal and uh, punk in your music, is there a special meaning to you in, let's say, metal in general or like black metal? Does it hold a special meaning to you? A special meaning in our music. A special meaning in our music. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we are all artists and we are not... Um, esoteric or something like that so just we, we just we just deal with the natural born terror on this planet earth and um, that's that's our message yeah I think we are more in the science me not only esoteric so in the science born yeah, yeah suffer we what yeah. the humankind um, you know show up on herself yeah yeah We don't talk about uh, the devil or um, the others can uh, uh, dragons or something like that because I, I I don't can make lyrics about this stuff. I don't know what so, it means. <laughs> so I think that's important. Uh, all the lyrics come from this guy, and that's um, a, a great thing. A great job, what he uh, he done. Yeah. Great job. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the grand plan for Nork? What is your maybe dream with this band or the future? You know, band. Uh, We want to save our rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> traveling around uh, the Republic and playing in the dungeons <laughs> <laughs> and drains. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think uh, just just have fun like like everywhere every other band in 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 the scene in the underground. Uh, we have fun. Uh, we don't think that it's a it's a big deal. Uh, For, for the future, uh, getting a lot of money, no. It's, it's yeah. Yeah, I think uh, all of us know that uh, we don't win a pot or something like a big, we don't get big money with this uh, job we do. But uh, it's, yeah, it's more like uh, we want to go out, show other people our, um, our music and want to have fun, meet new people and uh, bring the scene together. So, uh, get in touch with, about, with other people. Yeah. So so uh, so uh, talking to other bands, view other bands, and then okay, for example, we can bring them to Berlin, and then we can play, uh, for example, yeah, I think in France or something, and Italy or something like this. We want to have a change. So, I think the the effort we want uh, the effort for us is that we uh, do this kind of work the after work uh, i think we uh, we have a rehearsal two or three times the week and after that we want to do a good show and after a good show we want to talk to the people drink some beers or some wine or something gin tonic <laughs> and uh, to, yeah and, and 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 to talk to the people and get the mood of the people and to write new songs to have a l more fun all right Thank you very much, guys, and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you.